Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultra Films. Today I'm going to be having a look at two Dark Knight costumes from Ruby's. It's the Batman one and the Joker one. So let's do this. So the first costume I'm going to be looking at is the Joker costume. Of course this is the one that was portrayed originally by Heath Ledger. And this one's really cool. It's the deluxe version. They have two different versions of deluxe and just the normal version. And I got an adult size medium. It fits in pretty much any teenager adult size medium. Anyway, it has uh, the coat. It has the vest with the buttons. The pants are a full, entirely separate piece as the vest and the coat are one piece. And since I bought this used, it did not come with the shirt and tie thing, so I just used my own shirt and tie. And it also comes with this creepyish looking latex mask, which is very fun. But yes, uh, when you don't want to use the latex mask, and you most likely won't, you can just you can just use your own makeup. I did my own makeup tutorial. I did a live stream of the Heath Ledger's Joker. So if you want to check that out, just go ahead and do that. But yes, this is a really great looking costume and I highly recommend it and I just got it on eBay for ten dollars and I got the Batman one for ten dollars as well so it was a steal and also if you really want to get creative what you could do is you take the mask and you can cut the scars off and then you can apply it via liquid latex apply it to your face and then do the face paint over it and it'll just look incredible so yes so I'm gonna be putting this on and I'll show you what it looks like So. Here is the Ruby's Deluxe Dark Knight Joker costume. It looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, the only thing that is a problem with it is just the mask. And you can easily fix that by doing your own makeup. And the mask is really cool anyways, because it just looks, well, it just looks fun to wear. And it is fun to wear. And another thing you can add on are the gloves. You can see right here. They do sell the purple gloves separately, but I had the closest ones that I had to look like the Joker were these. And it looks really great with the glove. And I'll just take off the mask real quick. Here we go. How about a magic trick? <laughs> but yes, this is a really cool costume. Uh, the way it looks is just really incredible. Even if you pull it back like this, it just looks pretty nice. But yes, it's really awesome. I've already said a lot of compliments about it. It looks really great. The only problem is, is this like this Velcro thing that you got back here. But you can easily just sew it together if you want to. You know, if you want to make modifi modifications to the costume, it's really easy to do. You just buy a couple other things or you just sew a couple other things. It's really good. Another thing that good, that's good that you add with it is some boots. Right now I'm not going to wear anything because you can't really see my feet at all but it just looks really great all together. The vest and everything just looks really good and you can look like the Joker, it's really nice. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. And you can say all your favorite Joker quotes and your best, trying to do your best Joker impression. <laughs> Once the chips are down, these uh, civilized people will uh, eat each other. <laughs> So yeah, this is the Ruby's Deluxe Dark Knight Joker costume. It looks really great, really fun, really cool, and it comes with a really interesting looking latex mask. Alright, so, on to the Batman costume. Why so serious? Alright, so I have the Dark Knight himself, Batman. This costume is really nice. I really like the chest details going on right here, as you can see. They didn't just leave it as just flat printed details, they got actual foam. The rest of it, however, is just flat printed details, as you can see on the legs right here, and the arms. I also have the iconic bat razors attached to it. And on the back here, I have the mask, which is attached to a cape. And also here is the belt, which is very nicely detailed. It's made of a latex material. It might be the same latex as the Joker mask. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. It doesn't smell like it. <laughs> Anyways, so let's go ahead and put this on. So guys, here's the Ruby's Dark Knight Batman costume. Here it is right here. And the costume looks pretty good. The only things I'd change about it is the mask, the cape, and the gloves and boots. So if you want to go ahead and get those, that's what will definitely make the costume look better. But generally, it's a very nice costume. It looks pretty good. And 
I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly when this costume was made. I think it was around when the Dark Knight Rises was out or something like that. But it just looks really good. It looks better compared to most of the Ruby's costumes nowadays. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely has some improvements to be made. And you know what? I do have a mask that I made and I do have some gloves and a black sheet that I use for a cape. So I'll just show you what it looks like with the modifications. Okay, so here's the costume with all the modifications. And as you can see, it looks incredible. It looks so much better. You got the gloves, the cape, and the mask. And if you wanna see how to make this mask, you can go to my previous video. And also you have the boots. Now I'm not wearing the boots because you can't see my feet right now. But the boots look really good, trust me. And if you really wanna go full Batman, you can do the black eye makeup. I don't have it on right now, but one time I did wear it and it looked awesome. Now the cape isn't exactly attached to my arm right now. There you go. But still, once you get the cape modified as well, it just looks really great. But yes, this costume looks incredible. Once you get all the right stuff. And it's just really fun to wear. And you can also say all the Batman quotes. <laughs> it's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. I'm Batman. I'm not the hero this city needs. I'm the one it deserves. Where are they? <laughs> Harvey Dent. Can't really trust him. <laughs> Doing your best garbling Marvel's Dark Knight impression you can. <laughs> you can also do the quote. What were you trying to prove? That deep down, everyone is just as ugly as you are. <laughs> Swear to me. But yes, it's really fun to wear. Definitely getting the character. And of course, once you get all the modifications, it just looks absolutely sick. Looks like you're ready to do a short film or do, you know, any kind of Batman stuff, any cosplay, you can go to Comic-Con, all that kind of cool stuff. But yes, it's just really fun, really awesome. And once you modify it, it looks awesome. So yes, guys, that was the Batman costume. So guys, that was the Ruby's Dark Knight costumes, Batman and Joker. And I hope you liked this video and comment down below whether or not you liked it and if you want to see more costume reviews like this. This is the first time I've actually reviewed any costumes outside of the ones that I made. And you know what, it was pretty fun. I really like it. Um, and also, I will be using these costumes in upcoming videos, hopefully. Maybe like ultra funnies and short films and stuff, hopefully. But yes, this was really fun, and I'm glad you guys watched this video. And, well, you'll see me in the next video. Goodbye.